Hey everyone, welcome back to another Odoo 18 tutorial by Cybrosis. So today in this video, let's talk about the repair module. Okay, so handling the product returns and repairs in Odoo. That's what we are going to do today. So when customers return damaged or faulty products, Odoo's repair app streamlines the entire process from receiving a return to sending a repaired item back. So here's a breakdown of how it works. Okay. Now, uh, the typical return and repair workflow is what I'm going to talk about. Okay. So, the first thing is the process return or order for damaged product. So, you have to initiate the return of the faulty item. Before that, let me open the repair module. So, this is the repairs. Okay. And the second step is to create a repair order for the returned product. Okay. So, if any product comes due to any repair in it, you have to create a repair order for the product. Right. And the third one is to return a repaired product to the customer. So, this is the workflow. This is how it goes. So, let's do it step by step, okay? So, first of all, let's see the processing of the return. Now, this is the repair module and you can see the repair orders which are there. Okay. So, returns are managed as a reverse transfer directly from the original sale order after the product has been delivered, okay? So, first of all, what you have to do is you have to go to the sales app. So, this is the sales module, okay? Open the sales module and open a relevant, uh, you know, sale order. So, here we have a sale order. I'm opening this. Okay, so this is the sale order. Now, you have to click the delivery smart button. Now, here in this quotation, I'll just go back and open another one. Okay. So, here you can see the delivery smart tab. I'm going to click on that and open it. Okay. So, on the delivery, that is the delivery order form, you have to click the return. So, here you can see return. Okay. So, if you click on return, what happens is that it will show the reverse transfer window. So, this is the return window. Now, from here, you can, you know, review the product and, uh, you know, the product, the quantity and all. And if you want, you can adjust it also. You have to take a look at the unit of measure and then you can use the trash icon. So, here's the trash icon. So, here's the product. The quantity is there. So, you can adjust the quantity. I'm putting it to 1 and this is the trash icon. Okay. So, this will remove items from the return. Okay. So, once you are done, what you have to do is you have to click the return button to confirm it. So, I'm clicking on return itself. So, out of the 50 quantity, I'm just returning 1. Okay, so return is clicked. Now, this has been confirmed. So, once the product is back in your warehouse, you have to click the validate form to register the receipt. Okay, so after validating a return, the delivered quantity on the original SO will update the reflected one. So, I'm going to validate this. So, this has been validated. Now, if you go back to the thing, you can see the validate again. I'm just going to validate it. Confirm it. Okay. So, the validation is done. Okay. So, here you can see under returns, you have one return. And the sequence and all is given here. So, this is the product which you have returned. The one quantity. I mean, just a quantity of the product has been returned. So, that's the very first step. Now, the next step is to create a repair order. So, once the damaged product is back, you have to create a repair order to track the repair process. So, for that, you have to directly go to the repair module. So, this is the repairs. And what you have to do is you have to create a new repair order. So, click on new and this will open a new uh, blank RO. That is the repair order form. And then you have to select the customer. So, who will be involved and receive the repaired product. So, I am choosing the person who is Abigail Peterson or simply you can choose it from the sale order itself. Okay, You can just take a look at the customer in the sale order and then choose the person. So, here is the product to repair. So, it was a screw driver, right? So, this is the screw driver. You can see the product quantity is two, I mean one and then returning can be chosen from here. Okay, So, once you chose the now, this is the one which we got from the other one. Okay, the return one was already here. That is the delivery sequence was already here. 
and then uh, corresponding to that the customer has already come okay now the schedule date and all can be chosen from here and then you can enter the product quantity select the unit of measure from here and in the return field you can link the arrow to the specific return order so i'll do one thing i'll just remove it okay so if you go back to the sale you can see this is the credit so this was the product right so if you go to the delivery you have two delivery so opening the other one this is not the one the other one so for the transfer if you just check the reference it's a 007 so this is exactly what comes when we click on the product that is if you go to repair create a new one and if you choose the customer from here so just choose the product here okay and here you have a thing called check under i mean it's a, there is a check box where it shows under warranty so you have to check it if it's applicable this will waive charges for parts used in the repair you can also set the scheduled date for the repair using the calendar you can also assign responsible person and if it's a multi company then you have to select the relevant one and uh, then you have the tags where you can apply the relevant tab tags if needed now here you have the parts tab so if you click on add a line in the type column uh, you can choose add remove or even recycle so i'm putting on add so this is to include parts needed for the repair if you're putting remove it's to uh, list parts to be taken out during the repair and if it's recycle it's to designate parts for reuse or repurposing and in the product column you can select the specific part so i'm just putting the bolt over here you can see the demand quantity you can adjust the demand quantity if needed then you have to enter the actual done quantity okay so i'm putting it to one itself and here you have the units so this actual done quantity so after the part is added removed or recycled then you have to enter the done quantity the demanded quantity and done quantity like the ordered and delivered ones okay and then you have this used so you have to tick the used checkbox once a part from the add type has been incorporated into the repair and then you have the option to use the optional columns also okay uh, like you can see the other things such as the repair notes and miscellaneous so here under the repair notes you can add internal notes and instructions for the repair technician here you have the miscellaneous where you have to i mean where you can view the operation type so which default to your company's repair operation okay next is confirming and starting the repair so once all the details are given i'm going back to the parts and the demand i'm just putting it as zero itself okay now i'm going to confirm the repair so you can simply click on confirm repair button and this will move to the ro or uh, i mean move the new ro to the confirm stage okay and uh, reserves the necessary parts and next is a forecasted column okay a forecasted column will appear uh, in the parts tab Okay, so here you can see a forecasted column has appeared in the parts tab showing the component availability so you can see it's available and you can click start the repair from here okay so to this will move the uh, repair order to the stage which is under repair so click on start repair now it's under repair okay so if you want to cancel the repair you can click on cancel it and to end the repair you can click on end the repair so once the repair is finished you can click end repair and if not all added parts were used an incomplete moves window will appear okay so in our case we've used the necessary parts if not then this will happen and you can either adjust the use quantity or validate to the uh, confirm validate to confirm the order with the actual used parts so this will move the arrow to the repaired state i'm going to click on end repair see the done quantity is one right now and it is right now showing repaired okay 
So next is to return the product, right? We have to return the product to the customer. Okay. So once repaired, the product is ready to be shipped back. So you can click on create quotation and generate a new sale order. So exact customer and the product and all will be taken from there. Okay. So after being added, you can uh, simply complete the procedure. That is, uh, you can, I mean, it automatically creates a new, I mean, it refills the data with the sale order and uh, you can even add a service type product to the SO to charge for the repair service itself. Okay. So after uh, you add everything, you can click on confirm over here. Okay. So this has been confirmed. Now what you have to do is uh, next is to ship the repaired product. Okay. So uh, before that, you have to con create an invoice for it. You have to complete the procedure by creating the invoice so this is the invoice and confirming it okay so let's pay for this create payment so this is in payment state now let's go back to the sale order okay so you have to you know ship it right so shipping the repaired product is the next step so you have to navigate to the sales app and select the original you know, sale order for which this repair has been created right now. So this is the, uh, not this, let's go back. Okay, so this is the sale order for which we were working. Okay, now here you can see the delivery smart tab. You have to click on that. And this is the one which we created. Okay, so the repair order created corresponding to this can be seen here. So if we click on that, you can see the repair order, which is already here. Okay. So a repair order smart button, as I said before, will be there and uh, on the return form, we'll now click, I mean, it will link to the completed re uh, repair order. Okay. So you can click return at the top of the form. This opens another reverse transfer window. Okay. So if you go back to the sale order, you can see the invoice, the repairs and all. Okay. If you go back to the sale order, you can see the repaired one. So, this is the repair order. Going back, here you can see return. Click on the return on top of it. So, this will open another reverse transfer where you can re review the product. Okay. The quantity and all, you can adjust it. So, if you click return, this creates a new delivery order for the return product. So, I am just putting one and clicking on return. So, what happens is that, like, you can use the trash icon also, okay? So, if you click return to confirm, this creates a new delivery order for the repaired product, okay? So, once you, once the customer has shipped and received the product, you can click validate to validate the delivery. So, you can simply click on validate and it will be validated, okay? So, you can see it's in done state. The status is done and that's how you do it. Okay, so this is how simply you can deal with the delivery of the damaged products or the return products and the repairing and all will be done soon. So yeah guys, that's it.